A new suit, story trailer and way more Spider-Man PS4 info has dropped at San Diego Comic Con. I was on an airplane from Canada to the Netherlands when it all happened. But now I'm back to break it all down for you, so let's do that in this video. Of course, a like would be super appreciated if you enjoy what you see, and let's go! Let's start with that new suit, the third pre-order suit, the Velocity suit. That is actually a never-seen-before suit created for the game by comic book artist and film character designer Eddie Granoff. So comicbook.com reports that this suit will have a suit power that will let you move faster to the city. So that sounds pretty interesting of course. If that is indeed the suit power you could also grab it and put it on another suit if you like. I like the kind of futuristic look. Not really sure about the eyes though. But these sort of glowing parts totally make it look cool especially in the night because in this trailer we also saw night gameplay. So there will be like a weather system and a day and night system in the game and that depends on the mission and also at what point you are in the game. But after you finish the game you can like switch it at any time. So if you want to swing in the night you can do that but of course also during day. So now we know all the three pre-order suits. Of course if you pre-order the game you get instant access to these suits when you start out. Otherwise they will be like harder to unlock suits in the game. So you can get it like in the end only the pre-order people get it immediately. If you pre-order the game you also get an exclusive team that Eddie also made. And while we still don't know like really what it will look like. We did get a first sneak peek on the PlayStation block that you see right here. So maybe this is like the picture when you navigate to the top section of the menu. You see this picture and... It should be a dynamic team as well, so maybe it will move. Looks cool, but it still does not really give us a great idea of what the team will be. It should be available closer to the launch of the game on September 7th. The other big news was, of course, the story trailer. You probably already saw at this point. I put a link in the description down below if you haven't already. Just like I said in my previous video, Sony always releases big story trailers around a month and a half before the release of their game. And with Spider-Man that's not different. So a few takeaways from the trailer is the fact that we finally got a good look at the classic suit that you'll be starting the game with. And we see Spider-Man fight Kingpin so it could very well be that this is the first part of the game since Kingpin should be one of the first bosses you encounter. But there was also a new villain reveal in this trailer that you could know from the Amazing Spider-Man comics Silver Sable. She's hired by Norman Osborn the mayor in this game to take out Spider-Man and she has these mercy mercenaries with her that look pretty cool and at one point in the trailer we see Spider-Man getting attacked by this sort of electric cable with a guy like standing there in the back and I saw some people on reddit kind of argue like is that Taskmaster because we do know he exists in this game because you have to clean up the bombs he left like in the open world as one of the challenges but I'm more leaning towards this being an advanced mercenary from Silver Sable since we kind of see the same suit as the other guys are using as well just a little more advanced so this could very well be like a boss type of enemy from the mercenaries from Silver Sable but of course let me know you think in the comments down below. We also got more MJ in the trailer and she kind of looked different from the Paris Games Week trailer from a year ago at least like if you kind of compare the two. Here we see a picture for example from Regis and I'll pronounce it right on Reddit where it looks like MJ on the left from last year looks a little bit older but as Reddit user resending 9T uh, points out that it really depends on the lighting as well. We also got Norman Osborn with a little update as you see in the picture from Admiral Snack Bar with the top one being the new one from the new story trailer. We also see Miles again like they are all together and Mr. Negative and the Inner Demons also show their face in the trailer. We now learned that Yuri Lowenthal and I hope I pronounced that right is playing Mr. Negative and Martin Lee while Laura Bailey you could know her as Nadine Ross in Uncharted and Uncharted The Lost Legacy and she also plays an unknown someone in The Lost of Us Part 2. Anyway in Marvel Spider-Man she's the voice of MJ. I think overall a great trailer like showing us more of Peter Parker as well. Love the music, the amount of villains although some parts were course from the E3 2018 gameplay but there was a lot of new stuff as well without giving too much away because we got this tweet from John as well the lead writer on the game 
saying that there is so much they haven't shown yet. But I feel that Sony is always good with this. If you look, for example, at the story trailers from Horizon and God of War and compare that to the full game, you see that most of the things that were used were from the beginning of the game. And I think with Marvel Spider-Man, this is also the case. But yeah, just like at E3 2018, I'm already on board. Like, I got the collector's edition pre-ordered. And I saw some people ask about the statue reveal because we still don't know what the statue in the collector's edition is. But as I noted in a previous video, Insomniac will not show it until after the game is out because the statue is a big spoiler. So don't expect to see that anytime soon. What we did see though were new Hot Toys figurines from Spider-Man, the Advanced suit and the Spider-Punk suit looking pretty cool especially the punk one with the guitar and that's the suit power from the suit and you grab a guitar and stun the enemy other big news was the red ps4 pro that was announced looking really sexy with the white spider on it and we also got a red controller it's going to be on sale for 400 dollars including the game so that's not a bad deal we also learned that the game will support dynamic 4k so that means that it's like not as sharp as native 4k but that they do some tricks to make your eyes think that it still looks as sharp so in the end it's kind of hard to tell the difference for example God of War has the same dynamic 4k on 2160p just like Marvel Spider-Man of course as already confirmed there will also be HDR support even on the basic PS4 and there's also a regular PS4 bundle with the game and the red PS4 not sure about the price for that one but you can pre-order the bundles and they will be out on the same day as the game September 7th. And again, this does look like amazing. We got a good look at the PS4 Pro here from Greg Miller. So the San Diego Comic Con panel was not streamed. They did show like the beginning of the game as well for attendees, but I don't think they will like put that footage online while they of course also showed the story trailer during that panel but of course published that later. We don't have to wait that long luckily to experience the opening for ourselves. Of course from now till the release I expect way more news to drop, maybe some new gameplay footage as well. So don't subscribe to stay up to date on everything Spider-Man PS4 and of course when the game is out I'll be all over it just like you come to expect from me with other PS4 exclusives. So drop a like to support the channel, check out my recent Spider-Man PS4 video with some new gameplay info and where you can upgrade Spider-Man as well in a other video and I will speak to you next time again let me know what you think of the San Diego Comic-Con Invo and goodbye